Good morning, people. Let me turn this TV down. So, today is Saturday. One more week until I start my new job. I have to go to a training class tomorrow. I hate that I have to miss church, but Hook is going to go and stand in, in for the both of us. So, it's okay. But, um, he's downstairs washing his car. He tried to wash my car, but it was 59 degrees outside. And I don't want him out there all day trying to wash both cars. So, I told him to leave my car alone. So, <laughs> um, today we really don't have nothing planned. Um, I'm going to cook today. I'm making some uh, pork chops, probably some corn, um, and some broccoli rice and cheese, and some cornbread or some rolls. Probably It'll probably be some Hawaiian rolls. Um, and then, I'm trying to make sure the light is okay. Oh, we got to go to Sam's, and then we might have a little lunch date at McDonald's. You probably like McDonald's. Yeah, baby, we is really... Oh, y'all, let me tell you. I okay, I had been hearing about this place called the Greasy Spoon through my cousin. And she was like, they building a place in Paraly and the food look good. So I went on the thing, and I looked, and I seen that... Um, I'm sorry, I'm holding this camera with my hands, so I'm sorry if it's shaky. Let me see if I can put y'all on the tripod. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Okay, that's what I was saying. So... This is what we got. We got, I got me and hubby, uh, rosemary, and I got us lamb chops, a lamb chops dinner, and I got a seafood box, and I got deep fried, um, peach cobbler. So, let's get into the lamb chops. And this is for all my people that's in Houston or traveling in Houston. Go find the Greasy Spoon. They are building one in Pearland, and it's supposed to be built in about a month. And me and hubby is going to be in that thing at least every two weeks because the food is amazing. Y'all know I love the address. I will never go to the address again for lamb chops and lobster tails when I could go to a spot like this. Okay. The lamb chops was herb and rosemary, seasoned to perfection, tender as hell. He had greens and macaroni and cheese. I had yams and macaroni and cheese. And they put, it, they put the lamb chops on a bed of rice with some type of gravy that tastes absolutely amazing. The yams was fresh. The macaroni and cheese was homemade. The greens taste like somebody grandmother made those greens. Amazing. So, after we eat that, we full, but we want to taste this other food. So, the seafood box comes with a fried lobster tail, fried fish, shrimp, but the shrimp are not fried. They kind of, they uh, pan seared. Dirty rice. Greens is sitting under the catfish and this alf. This like white sauce is it covered all over this food. Yeah. When I say it was freaking amazing, it was freaking amazing. Do you I don't even think y'all understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. We got all that food for less than 80 bucks. All that food for less than 80 bucks. The deep fried peach cobbler. When I heard deep fried peach cobbler, I was like, what the hell? I ain't never had no deep fried peach cobbler. I call my cousin. Because it was that serious. I say, I want to go back to that food truck and slap the hell out of them. Because if they ever leave, we got a problem in Houston. Because everybody knows I'm a foodie. I love good food. I love the taste, the spices, the seasonings. I love good, amazing food. That's why I only eat at certain restaurants. Because the food has to appeal to my palate. I don't just eat anything just to eat anything. First of all, I'm 210 pounds. She can't be eating anything just to eat anything anyway. So if I eat it, it has to be amazing. I'm not going to waste my palate on something that's mediocre. This food was simply amazing. This food was so good. Hubby said, babe, I ain't had no good food like this in a long, long time. Now, I you know, any other time I would have thought that was shade. I'm sorry. That was not shade. That was the guy of the truth. As much as I throw down in the kitchen, nothing will compare to them lamb chops and those that fried lobster tails that I had yesterday. Nothing will compare to those jams and them greens. Like, the customer service was on point. The organization was on point. The food was hot and fresh. When you have business and it's black owned, that's another thing I like. I like that it's black owned. When you have businesses like that, you can't help but constantly go back and give them repeated business. Hubby was like, they are in the equivalency of Ruth Chris. And everybody know I love me some Ruth Chris, honey. Baby, their, their steak 
in their yams and their um, um, crab cakes are amazing. Everybody knows I love Rue Chris, baby. This was the equivalent of Rue Chris for half the price. So I cannot wait till the Greasy Spoon opens up in Pearland because it's so close to my house. But until then, I will be at their food truck every two weeks. You know, if I could have it my way, I'd be there every week. But, you know, we're on a budget. So we see every two weeks. That'll be an in-house date night type of thing. But they also have, at the food truck park, like I said, they have different places that you can go. Like there's different food. There's something for everybody there. But there they have like a little sitting area with live music. It's just a whole vibe. It's a great date night type of situation. I was just going for the first time to try their food and I wanted to bring it back home. So that's, that's how that goes. But I think the next time we go, it's going to definitely be a date night situation. Um, but yeah, we're going to Sam's today. Um, and we're going to our little date at McDonald's because we both have a love for their fish sandwiches and I have a love for their Big Macs and I think I want a Big Mac today so and I everybody know I love McDonald's fries as long as they cook them hot and fresh we ain't got no problems but I always say my ex don't make my stuff made to order anyway but that's gonna be our little day and then we're gonna come back get in the attic y'all yeah if y'all seen my vlog I think I showed y'all my last vlog I put my Christmas tree up already but um we're gonna change as you can see my bedding stuff is black um and i think it's time to change it to a different color um and i have a gang of blankets to choose from so we're gonna go in the attic today and decide what color we want to put on a bed and that's what i love about him he don't when i ask him for his input or what he think about something he just don't say whatever you want to do babe no because you have to live in this space too so i need you to tell me what you want um, so we're going to pick the color together, um, cause the furniture was already here before he moved in. Like this furniture ain't going nowhere. I spent a lot, a lot, a lot of money on this furniture. So it definitely ain't going nowhere. But as far as the bedding and the decor and like the curtains and stuff, I want him to always have input on that. So also I've been trying to find a hunter green, uh, blank comforter. So if y'all know where I can find a nice hunter green comforter, really like looks really, really good. And I want no shade, no tea. Not one of those wild mark comforters, cause I don't want that. But unless it's like really, really pretty, like green with like scrolls and stuff going through it, then that's dope. But just a plain green comforter, I don't want that. So if y'all know where I can find a bomb, bomb green comforter that's really, really pretty, um, that I can put in here, cause that's his favorite color, that'd be awesome. Hit me up, put it in the comment section so I can go check them out. But yeah. Um, we, I'm gonna get this day started. I'm gonna try to take y'all along as much as possible. Y'all know I'm shy um, when it comes to vlogging in public, but I just feel like if I want to be a give y'all better content, then I have to start taking y'all <coughs> taking y'all along with me. So y'all be rolling with your girl today. I'm gonna go. I got one lamb chop left and some yams and some macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna go eat that for breakfast. So that's how good it was. And I'm going to give y'all a clip. I'm going to insert a clip in between this to show y'all exactly what that food looked like. And y'all going to know that I am the, that the greasy food is the truth. All right. I'll see you guys in a few.